Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play of my custom neighborhood, Lucia. So today we're going to be jumping into this household right here, one of the larger homes in the town, which is occupied by Gia Napolitani. So this is Gia, and she is one of our business owners in the town. She owns the boutique, and she is... Oop, let me pull up my sheets yes yeah, so she is a popularity sim with the second aspiration pleasure and her hobby is music and dance so in this room right over here got it set up with a dance bar as well as a violin all right so let us start oh let me actually i'm so bad at this oh i actually did not give her traits yet so that is what I'm going to do first. Missing traits to Gia. All right, and let's see what she rolled. Unlucky, born salesperson, absent-minded, workaholic, and brave. Those are all traits that I feel like would match her pretty well. And I'm glad she got born salesperson because maybe that'll help her with... um getting her stars for her business ranked up faster and right here we can see one of her wants is to get a good review and she wants to get a gold sales talent badge so it all works out honestly for her all right so i'm gonna put the walls down for now have her start her day by taking a shower using the restroom yeah so she is from a wealthier family so she was able to purchase a bigger house compared to most people that moved into the town um, because she had financial backing from her family as well so it's not completely up to her taste yet but you can see that she's added a few of her own touches here and there and let's look at her relationship panel so we have not played as Todd yet, but he is somebody that she has a crush on, and she's friends with Santi, and she seems to have chemistry with quite a few guys in town. No three bolters yet. I don't think I have any three bolters in terms of really anybody. So let's have her just play a little bit of her violin before she heads off to work. We'll send her off at about like seven. Yeah, so Gia definitely has a more refined taste, and I feel like that might play into just exactly how picky, because she doesn't have any roles, like, with Todd, so I guess he's not that serious for her, at least just not yet. Maybe he has to establish himself a bit more. Um, she likes glasses and brown hair, which I do have a sim with glasses and brown hair in town, I don't think she's met him, and he's also gay. So, that wouldn't be doing much for her anyway. But, yeah, she doesn't have... Yeah, the one the one guy in her relationship panel that has brown hair she has no chemistry with. That's <laughs> Maybe his personality is just not what she's looking for at all. Alright, so it's seven. And I'm going to have her walk to her boutique because it's right across the plaza she can see it from her window all right and there she goes so we'll see you at her boutique all right so this is Gia's boutique a part of this connected shopping center right next to Priya's pet shop and this is actually a vacant lot next door so somebody in the future can purchase it and open up their own so she has to go to the restroom again <laughs> so I'm just gonna send her back here and I realized the last time that I was playing that I accidentally banned the who I think to be the um on a jester who i think to be the um what are they called the person the reviewer 
So I'm going to see if I can unban, yes, Elizabeth, I'm pretty sure. Adjuster, delete adjuster. Okay. So she's going to use the restroom, and then she'll be able to open up the boutique at hopefully exactly 8 a.m. Let's just speed it up a little bit. All right, so not exactly eight, but I'm okay with that. Just taking a look at her shop and making sure that it's all prim and proper. Oh, our first customer of the day is Paige. Let's greet her. And that's actually Todd, the guy she has a crush on. That's his sister. All right, so let's see. Let's greet Mariah. Sales, please excel. I saw somebody walk past, but maybe I was not paying attention. Can I show her? Oh, okay, so she's greeting Pilar is here. Very cool. Now Mariah is checking stuff out, so let's do a basic sell on her. Very good. Her born salesman trait is really coming in handy for her. Let's do basic sell on her as well. Oh, Arnold is here too. Oh, maybe he's just passing on by. Thought maybe he'd buy some perfume for his wife. And we have our first sale of the day, which is Paige. Very cool. She bought some perfume. All right, and she seems like she's done. Yeah, so while her sales skills are great, her cashier skills are rather lacking. <laughs> Paige is like, okay. She's rather patient, but yeah, she's getting irritated now. Hurry up, Gia, please. Oh, and Pilar is ready as well. She must have gotten some jewelry since I saw her checking out the jewelry se section. Oh, and Santi's here. Very cool. So when she's finished with Pilar, we can greet him. Seems like he's buying some clothes, which I could see a lot of Sims doing. Right now, the seasons have changed over, so people need to get their summer wardrobes in order. And I'm actually surprised that a lot of Sims are purchasing because I have set everything <laughs> too expensive. But I guess most of them still have cash on them, so... I can't get over Mariah. I love her. She came out so cute. She's got these little elf ears and her makeup is just, yes, love her. Gia, please come on. <laughs> oh, she didn't even have to do anything. Santi ended up purchasing without. So let's just greet him anyway, since she wants to be best friends with him. Nice, and she got her bronze um, cash register um, badge. Alright, so let's greet Priyanka and then do a basic sell on her. And ring him up. Oh, fun. 
And this is a sim who we have not met yet. I have not even met him so much. He's kind of a mysterious drop-in in town. And we will learn more about him once we get to the Ryan household, which is the farmhouse. Yeah, she's moving much better on that cash register. I'm so happy. All right, and then when you're done, do a basic sell on Jonah. So she, I think, is the first sim to actually meet Jonah. Very good. And Priyanka looks like she's going to be buying soon. Oh, and here goes Simon. So let's greet him and then do a basic sell on him. Yep, and he did end up purchasing the perfume. wonder who he's buying that for. And then ring up these customers. Ralph. Yeah, so her, she does very well with her store. Yeah, like her cash revenue so far is $759. And I'm sure it's because she said everything too expensive. And she hasn't really had to restock anything. Well, the clothes are average price, but like the perfume and the jewelry is expensive. All right, Jonah's starting to get a bit impatient. Oh, he's buying some more. That's great. Okay. Oh, now Garth has bought something. Napnorn Fab. Vadish. She might have one of the smoothest operating businesses so far. Like, I'm pretty sure she's like, other than Kirch and his diner, she's the only one that has a rank one business. And hopefully Elizabeth, now that I've unbanned her, she could go and give us a good review. And after that, do a basic sell on Jonah again. Up oh, and here comes Russell, maybe buying something for Eloise. Right, so let's greet him and then do a basic sell. Yes, rank two. All right, so let's see what we can get her. Assess mood, money, wholesale discount. While most people need a boatload of friends to be really influential, you just need to be yourself. With this perk, your capacity for influence will take a nice swing upwards. Hmm. So I'm not sure if this even works for just like restocking clothes, but I'm going to do that anyway. So hopefully that works. All right, and now she's over here. Trying to do a basic sell on Russell. Oh, and here goes Todd. Greet Todd. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> wow. Sales. Uh, basic sell. I was going to say that'd be awkward if he was like, yeah, no. <laughs> Okay. Yep, so he's gonna get some jewelry. Oh, she <laughs> she is not feeling Jonah. Like, he is not cute to her at all. That is so funny. Yeah, now that she's got her rank up, it seems like more people are coming into the shop at a time. Because before, it was only like three people at a time. And that would be it. Like, nobody else would come in. All right, if she gets a chance after him, I'm actually going to have her have a TV dinner to get her hunger up. And that's the one bad thing about being the only person operating the shop is that 
she doesn't get a chance to take a break. Oh, she doesn't even have time. All right. Girl, no, you have to ring him up. I'll close at like four or five. I feel like eight to five is a decent amount of time for the shop to be open. And I haven't thought about it yet, but I was wondering if, um, oh, that looked like, well, that's my new default replacement for jewelry box, but it looked like an engagement ring. So I wonder if he's rolling once for, per for um, proposing to Gia. All right, and here goes Arnold, so hopefully she can help him out. He decided to come back. All right, yeah, we need that bronze. Sir, your watch is on the other wrist. <laughs> All right, so finally here she comes around. And Santi is back purchasing more. Mm, that was an interesting interaction. I've never seen that before, to be quite honest. I guess whatever it is she was trying to sell, he was not having. Ooh, girl, I see you. Okay, and after helping him to do basic stealth on Darian. Napnorn Fab. Every okay, so <laughs> I don't know what it is about G Wan, but everybody has like flaming, angry thoughts about him. He really rubs people the wrong way, and I don't know why. Because in round one, when I played as him, he was very chill, just minded his own business. So I'm just confused. Okay. So I think as soon as Arnold finishes, I'm going to... Oh, she's far in hearts for how much chemistry? Two bolts. Okay, that's not bad at all. We'll see where that goes. So she's going to be greeted. She's still angry about whatever it is that he did. I don't even remember seeing them fight before. That's the crazy part to me. Okay, she's going to tell her a joke, but she's got to ring up customers, so she might not be able to finish whatever it is she's saying. Arnold, please hurry. Oh my god, why did it go down so low? I could see him being frugal, though, and not really... Like, he's looking at this stuff like, this is way too expensive for just some perfume. Like, he could probably make this if he wanted to with his flowers and plants that he grows on the farm. Okay, it's jumping up a little bit. I see. So when she's done with Priyanka, I'm going to have her do a basic sell. Oh, jeez. All right, you know what? Close the business. You're not buying anything, Arnold. You're just going to... Oh! Okay. That's a, something I didn't expect. Yeah, everybody leave, please. <laughs> I'm going to have you have a TV dinner. Have you used the bathroom. Yes, I know you're hungry, and I'm sorry. And then before she goes home, I'm also going to have her go... Oh, let's hang this up on the wall. Like that. 
I don't really have. I don't really like putting up the first simoleon award. Yep, so after a nice long day, she's having a delicious TV dinner that I hope she does not set on fire like Eloise set the turkey on fire. Girl, I know. Very good. Yep, so she's just going to sit here and enjoy some food before I send her over to get a cell phone because how is she supposed to connect with people when she's at work? Like, she needs to be able to call her friends, and I know she wants to be fr best friends with Santi, so I'm thinking about, oh, but she also wants to have a party. So what I'll do instead of going out to eat, I'm going to have her get a cell phone, and she's going to go home and throw a celebratory party because she has earned $2,000 since starting her business. Did I not buy her a garbage can? I did not. Okay. At least I have space in this corner for one. Like that. Clean up. Use, wash your hands. I'm also going to have her restock a bit. And I'll just fast forward through this. All right, now that she's done restocking, I'm going to have her walk the lot, community lot. We are going to go to the electronics store. Ugh. Please move. Pooper car. Yeah, she's like, can you please move? <laughs> Get off of the lot. <laughs> we are closed. Okay. So here we are at Quentin's electronics store. But she's not going to look at any of that big stuff. She's just going to go over here and buy a phone. Mm -hmm, All right, and let's pay for items. All right, Quinn. Come on. Quentin, where are you going? Sir. Sir. That was uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I do not want her here. Hold on. Adjust visitor controller. NPCs. Is she an NPC though? She's just a um sim type. Yeah, townies are banned. She's not a hobby sim. Whatever. Autumn, I'm sorry, you gotta go, girl. I was like, I don't want her buying anything. I only want my playables to be buying things. Mood track, Dag? Bad. 
All right, and then let's walk to Lot home. I feel like her hunger and her energy are going down really fast, but also probably not. That's probably just normal. <laughs> where is she all right so here we are she's back home her hunger is horrendous but she's also tired so i'm actually gonna have her take a nap first and then she can get up and have herself a little breakfast and this is one of the other things that i enjoy about um this play style of one day rotations is that and without the community time clock because i used to play with that but like with when it's just one sim like this and then she spent her entire day at work by the time she came back there's nothing else to do so then her day and rotation would be over but with this she can have her full work day and then still do other things like socialize have a party work on skills and i just feel like i have i spend more time with my sims in a more compact time so i get to spend time with everybody instead of doing like right 386 she can afford that all right so she's up fully rested oh and she wants to ask us him on a date hmm okay she no, she's not really that neat but she's just gonna make her bed up anyway And she's going to take a bubble bath. And I think she might have leftovers. She does. Okay, and let's... Oh, she's got a lot of people here right now. Felicity and Santi just deciding to walk by. I think she tried... She actually, first round, she wanted to be friends with Felicity. But I just don't think that their personalities matched as well. And I really wanted them to be friends too since... They both seem to be very similar, but I don't know. Maybe we'll try again. <laughs> it just didn't work that last time. But she also doesn't want to. She wants to be friends with Russell, Arnold, and Garth. And Garth is her neighbor. So I think that'll be a good friendship to work on. Now we're just going to fast forward a little bit here. Alright, so she's done her omelet. She's going to go ahead and clean that up herself. Right, let's pay the bill while we're thinking about it. Okay, and I'm going to have her warm up on the ballet bar. And I also am going to recolor her phone.
Alright, and after warming up for a bit, she's going to call Garth on the phone. Oh, and I forgot to give him a phone. Okay, well, <laughs> next we're going to call... I don't think he'll even be home, Russell, but we'll give him a call anyway and see. Oh, he is home. Okay. Yep, so they're just going to talk for a little bit. Actually, while she's holding her phone up, because that is not a phone case that she would have, I'm going to... change it there we go that's more her style oh Oh dear. Yeah, she's like, I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about something else. She might be talking about how the entertainment center is trying to open up a little like tea shop and maybe incorporate some restaurants into it because right now it has a bar, but it doesn't really fit the vibe. So she's just giving her opinions on, yeah, she thinks she thinks that having like a snack bar upstairs would be something that'd be more interesting. Something that people would be interested in. And they're kind of close to being friends, so maybe by the end of this that she'll get that. Yep, very good. She got that friendship. She wants to learn couples counseling and to meet somebody new. Who does she not know in town? She knows just about everybody. Yeah, I can't think of a sim that she doesn't know. So we're just going to leave that alone. Maybe she'll call Arnold. Does she have... No, she doesn't. Even... Maybe she's going to call him and apologize that he wasn't able to find anything that suited his taste in her shop. And she just kind of wants to get some feedback from him. <laughs> yep, she's calling. She doesn't want to fight. She wants to mend what wrongs happened today during his visit to the store. <laughs> yeah, so that conversation did not end well. So he's just somebody that is not... <laughs> gonna be probably be returning back to her store anytime soon all right i'm gonna have her use the restroom i don't think she has a um stereo or anything and i don't think learning couples counseling well, let's try that first. If that doesn't make her fun go up, then I'll just have her watch some TV. Yeah, so I'm seeing her want to go on a date being replaced with learning couples counseling is that she's kind of like teetering back and forth on the idea of whether or not she wants to be in a committed relationship if she wants to make whatever she has with Todd serious if she wants to take that next step so she's gonna read this book and see if maybe it'll give her some insight on how she's feeling
All right, so she's going to take a break from that and go downstairs and get some leftovers. some turkey all right and then when she's done her turkey I'm just gonna have her watch some television Is walking by now. All right, so her relationship with Santi is lowering. Is he? Near. Oh, he is. He's actually here. And I actually don't know if she... Let's have her actually greet everybody. Can she greet everyone? Greet Emily and then greet Santi. Yep, she didn't know her. Very cool. And she wants to throw that party now. All right. So I'm going to have her call or throw party house party. And she's going to invite Pilar, Todd, his sister, um, Russell. Hmm. Eloise can come too. And who else? I don't think Arnold and his wife would appreciate being invited, so we're just going to leave them out. Um, I think that's a decent amount of people. It doesn't need to be a full party. Oh, and he's farting hearts for her. She's going to join them on the television. All right, so Todd came, Russell came. None of the girls came. Oh, and they became best friends. That's awesome. Entertaining joke. He's going to help himself to something in her fridge. All right, and then I'm going to have them. Oh. That was weird. Because he was in her way. <laughs> and she's going to influence... Him to entertain Santi and then talk. Chat. Why does he keep walking farther and farther away? Stop! What is even up here? Oh, I guess he wants to play chess, but no. Is it warm lad? Warm lad is for free. Oh, 
Oh, she wants to pull a prank, but I don't know. Those don't ever really, like, go too well. I guess she could always do a water balloon. Oh, no. What happened? I guess they had a bad conversation. <laughs> okay, well that went good and she wants to have a pillow fight. Okay. Yeah, Gia, I is she really playful? Yeah, she's pretty playful and outgoing, so this is very her. <laughs> Appreciate him. So far she's rolling um pretty wholesome once. She nothing romantic, only friendly. But we'll see if that changes. Yeah, still entertain. Joke. <laughs> yeah, let's see what else. Alright, well, yeah, she's really not rolling anything too serious. What? Russell, please. <laughs> I should have locked the doors. Alright, so... Emily's out here, so she's gonna go down, tell her a joke, and chat with her a bit. Oh, not this strut! What is she about to do? Emily. I think G is coming down and stopping her from whatever it is that she was trying to do. Which I'm kind of mad about. <laughs> I must not have a garbage can in here. But I did. Oh, I'll get one after the party. <laughs> Yeah, she's not having really good conversations with anyone, really. See, is Russell still? Oh, look, they're having a little party in here. <laughs> Todd playing music for Russell's performance and Santi's just like, all right, y'all. <laughs> Whatever it is that's going on up here. I'm just gonna macro socialize friendly. Oh, 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 okay, Gia. She's impressed. All right, some gossip. Oh, not with Todd right upstairs. Yep. Just like everybody else, just not a good relationship with G1. And I don't understand why. Like, he had one fight with Todd, and then everybody was angry with him. Oof, too long. Oh, cool. All right, so she's friends with Emily now. So now let's do macro socialize friendly with Russell since she wants to be best friends. And let's see if these two. I guess not. She's using the bathroom. What? No! She's taking a whole bubble bath. Well, I guess Emily owns the hotel or the motel, so she does not have access to 
<laughs> bathtub, so she's just taking advantage, I guess. Oh, that's so funny. Todd just in the background. Oh, very cool. She had a great party. That's awesome. And so now she's going to end her day with a bubble bath as everybody leaves. So yeah, Todd was the first one to go. That was really interesting. She really didn't roll any once romantically for him. Everything was very friendly. And I guess that was her like establishing the line. Like she was not really an interested in going in on that date. Or maybe she's still unsure. But I feel like her, her wants and her actions at the party really show how she's actually feeling. Yep, so she wants it's why does she not have the friendship with Santi anymore? But they're best friends. That's interesting. Maybe she'll give him a call right before she goes be to bed just to solidify that. And I'm going right over him. No, he's not even on here. That's weird. Is he here? <laughs> he is! Oh my god! Okay. So she's gonna go downstairs and greet him. He came back. Hmm, I wonder if they're gonna have a romantic plot line. They only have one bolt, but I'm pretty sure Santi is a romance sim. Cool. Alright, kiss kiss darling. Okay, so he's going in the house. She's going to sleep. I got nervous. Let's entertain. Bust a move. Santi does live directly across the street in these apartments, so that could be another reason why he was so quick to just come right on back. Uh, let's talk about music and dance. Hmm, let's see if they autonomously do anything or interact. No, she's just, she's tired. Right, so she's gonna appreciate him for coming over and then say goodbye so then she can go to sleep. Because she's just too exhausted to do anything else, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, she needs to clean that up. She does not strike me as the person, even though she's not like super neat. I feel like she would not go to bed with, <clears throat> sorry, with dirty dishes just on her table. It's just not proper. Oh, and she's getting a phone call. Let's actually answer that before she. Oh no, it's a waitress from the 
restaurant at the boardwalk. How does she even know her? She probably met her when I was playing another household and she went to eat. Okay, so G is now tucking herself into bed. And we end her round there. And so while her round was uneventful in terms of her relationship with Todd, I feel like she's starting to gain more knowledge about who she is and what she wants. And she also made lots of friends this round. Like she became best friends with Santi, became friends with Russell, with Emily. So I feel like in terms of friendship, she's building a nice little group and her business is doing well. She's ending off her round with 767 simoleons, which is less than what she had, but she invested a lot of that into her business. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye.